have the time to ride them whenever I want to. It's, it's such a dream come true. And the vehicles, you can drive the vehicles of, of your dream. Mike just bought me a brand new 97 Suburban, and I'm just so fired up to be getting that. And you know, best of all, it's our marriage. I have the most incredible marriage. So we work on it every day. It's not perfect, but I have the most incredible respect and love for my husband. And I know, I, can, I know the love that he has for me. And we have three healthy, beautiful children. And we even have a dog. We have a golden retriever that sits in our front yard. It's scary. I, we remind ourselves of a Norman Rockwell painting sometimes. Our life can be so perfect. I was a retired man at 35 years old. We're looking for a few good men. We're looking for some good women that'll back those men. And you know what? This is our country. This is our country. And we want it back. Come on, let's get it back! Begin today with MIDI music on the Atari ST. This is the National Association of Music Merchants Convention being held this year in Anaheim. The NAM, as it's called, is the premier international marketplace for musical products. And it's no surprise that it looks more like a computer show than a music convention. As usual, one of the stars at NAM is Atari, long the musician's favorite. And at this year's NAM, Atari's new music division helped launch several new third-party products. C-Lab was showing off its Notator sequencer. Notator lets you work on nearly 1,600 separate tracks, of which 64 can be simultaneous. Each track can contain 16 separate and simultaneous MIDI channels. Mike Pinder is one of the original members of the Moody Blues, and he uses Notator. Right now I'm doing a lot of uh, sequencing involving uh, playing in extra vocals and things like that, and this program works very well for that, for reconstructing music even, music that was recorded in the past, I'm able to resample it and then put it, recompile it using Notator. Another new MIDI product on display at the Atari booth was the Digital Master Workstation that lets you do two-track digital record and playback direct to disc. The whole hardware-software combination sells for $4,500. Mick Fleetwood of the group Fleetwood Mac is another Atari computer musician. Fleetwood uses the new HOTS MIDI translator invented by Jimmy HOTS. It's been called the first true hyper-instrument 
enabling a musician with limited technical skills to create complex music. My main frustration was I'm, I'm a drummer, of course, I'm not a keyboard player, and it started with really uh, saying it must be possible in this day and age to develop a system where someone can either learn to play, uh, if you're a player, uh, to, to become instantly far more prolific, quite frankly, than conventional methods. The HOTS MIDI translator uses a database of chords and sequences and functions like an intelligent musical accompanist. The device sells for under $200. Chester Thompson is a drummer who's played with Phil Collins and Genesis. He uses Cubase, a sequencing program from the Steinberg Jones Company. The newest version of Cubase lets you not only control MIDI inputs, but also gives you remote software control of multi-track tape machines. In all, there were 16 developers showing off new music products for the Atari platform at this year's Music Merchant Show. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Maria Gabriel. Hi, let's, uh, oh yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to use that. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong. But it seems like it might wear thin after a while. Whoosh. Let me, uh, check my TCP IP sentence. Yeah, I thought that was low. That looks good. I like having this game loud, because I want people to hear it, because this game is basically half audio. Final 15 multiplayer. I forgot that was out. Um, shit. Well, it's not patched or anything. Uh, haven't made my dude. I, uh, that sounds like fun, though. I'll try and stream that. Does it have matchmaking, or do you just have to join people off your friends list? I haven't, actually haven't read about it at all. God. A choir of angelic anime ladies greets me in this game. I assume they're anime. You know it how it is. So here I am. Uh, made it all the way to, where am I? The Asm Step. In the Sea of Blades, yo! This is from the past summer at Nam. Oh, let me click on this. Oh, I gotta make it so the music plays when I'm, I'm tabbed out. That sounds disruptive. That looks cool. Huh. Alright, let me, uh... That's another sister... Okay, there we go. There we go. Good stuff! To give up on the Assassin's Creed stream... What, you mean like Origins? Uh... <clears throat> I am playing that on Xbox. And... Uh, I don't have capture equipment for 4K. Because it doesn't exist yet. I right, no, it does exist. It's just really expensive. So, I don't know. I, I guess I haven't messed with trying to figure out how to get the 1X to stream. Or, I guess I need to look up and see if there's any purpose. I know 1X can do 4K. Maybe if you put it at 1080, it doesn't do anything better. So, I might as well just play it on Xbox. I don't know. Haven't looked into it. There's a very small amount of research I need to do. Planning on playing with Marauder this weekend. Super pumped. Love 15. Yeah, 15 seems like the perfect kind of game to be multiplayer. Although I wonder... Uh, I wonder... There we go. Got my... Seals. I don't even remember what those are for. You get a fucking dragon? Yes, you do get a fucking dragon. Look at this dragon. Look at how tiny I am on it. I can't even sit on the full saddle. I have to scoot all the way up. To be able to hold the reins. I've been playing this game for a while, so I have a lot of weird mounts. How's performance on the 1X? Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's, uh, I mean, 4K is just, it's really pretty. Uh, 4K UHD, all that shit. Um, HDR. It's still 30 FPS, though, but it's like... I don't buy it, by the way, but if you want to make a case for cinematic, uh, <laughs> cinematic shit, that is kind of... That's a good case for it. When a game runs at that high of a resolution that it starts to look... Kind of real. I don't know though. The game itself, I mean, I've yet to be sold on it. It just seems like another Assassin's Creed. They added gear, and I'm not that impressed. Ah, uh, not. 
I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad game. What are you looking out? What are you looking for? What you doing? Uh, I'm sure for the... If somebody wants that kind of game, it's delightful, I'm sure. But, uh... I'm just kind of over it. I'm just kind of over all of it. Like the Horizons, the... Shadow of Wars, the... Horizon Zero Dawns. I'm just kind of over them. I've played so many of them. Where are the cat girls? They're around somewhere. I don't have one. I'm a Lollafell. I'm a bitchin' badass dude. Alright, so... They're trying to find their master. Wait, is that who Lord Hien is? It's gonna take me a minute to actually remember what's going on in the story. I would like to summarize it for you guys, get you all caught up on the plot, but... So I hit a level cap. Uh, I had to, had to level a little bit, do some side, ch side questing. And also, I haven't been playing the game that much, so I just got a belt, right? A corset of healing. Alright. Um, senior kept up with the ultimate coil stuff. No. I'm level 65. I'm not even level capped. There you are. So I'm not even I'm not even an end game. I have yet to play through the storyline for fucking Stormblood. So finally got around to beating Doom. Nice buckets. Yeah, that game is great. Man, Doom's so good. I just hope they make more of that. I want them to just make another Doom. Different levels, same game. That's cool. Maybe some new guns. Whatever, man. I'm not picky. One or two new enemies. That's cool. I wonder how long it takes to make a game with that fidelity, though, because, man, it was pretty. What's up, Rat Attack? Ooh, that's a cool dress. What you doing? You got a little tail poking out? You got a little tail? A little dragon tail? Doesn't appear to be a pre-cut hole. That's cool. Nothing too particular. New Monster Hunter has me excited. It'll be my first one. Yeah, Platinum... Every successive Monster Hunter seems like it's getting friendlier and friendlier, so... I think they're, they're pretty safe to get into now. Oh... So yeah, the, the broad story... Ugh, basically as it, as it was before, still trying to basically start a rebellion and nobody's having it. Everybody's been so, like, persecuted that they're... They are well done with any amount of insurrection. I'm gonna deal with the Zayla now? Okay. I guess those are little dragon people. Actually, I just, I just read that apparently this game is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the amount of distinct tracks that are in its soundtrack. It's like 250-something. Fucking ridiculous. Hey, Chorizo. All done cooking? Yeah? I... I had to... Uh, I had uh, to fry up some stuff real quick, too. So, wait. Uh, gather information in Reunion. That's the name of the city? Alright, so you're a Zayla, I guess? A little dragon lady? A little tassels? Booze. Fresh booze. Watch us a Yeah, you sell food. What's a booze? Oh, it's like a bun. Alright, well that's not exciting. Hey senpai, what up? I like the sheer size of that man in the background, yeah. He's a big fella. What server you on? I'm on Leviathan. Scoot over a little bit. Just realized I was off center. How distracting. Just walking around getting a lay of land. They got some fish over there. Cool stuff. Some more booze, I guess. I guess this is like a just a road town. People come through, they need their food. Need to take a little take a little break. Visit the saucy dragon ladies. Hello, Botokui. 
All right, what am I up to? Ooh, Fast Bane. What the fuck? Fast Bane Detspari. Yep, that's his name. All right. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder just how much thought in MMOs, is, especially, how much uh, thought is put into a layout of a town or the distribution of NPCs and stuff. Or if this is just like, fuck it, throw some stuff there. Tiny sheep, great. Uh, put a few rugs on the ground. There, that, that'll do it. Mole? They're introducing... Uh... Interesting. I've got to actually like... Hey, you seen that... That girl mole? Yeah, that didn't work. Say. Hey! Girl! Mole! Where is she? Damn it. That's not working. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it in all caps. I bet it's case sensitive. Hey, hey, hey! Mole. I'll get there eventually. Hey! There we go. Jesus. Thoughts on EA taking the microtransactions out of Battlefield 2 temporarily? It's an interesting panic move. Uh, I was not paying attention to what she said. Hold on. You tell me, mole, now tell. Oh, good God. I made her mad. Alright, fine. Go back to your fucking chest or whatever. Going to RTX Sydney? Yes, I am. Pretty sure that got announced. Eh. Tell me mole thing. Oh, I am mole. I did it. She seems nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the microtrans thing is, is interesting. Sonica's gonna be in Senran Kagura? That makes a lot of sense. That is that is a suitable match. Is it, which uh, which one is the new one? Peach Beach Splash or the the one on um the one on Switch? I don't care, lady. That's pretty great. Although I've seen some new Sonicos that aren't quite as thick. It's weird. Like, they slimmed her down. I mean, her chest is still ridiculous, but... It's a troubling trend. I liked Sonico because she was real squishy. And I was like, cool, you know? Big lady. Girl likes her macaroons. I can handle that. I wonder if Disney had anything to do with it, trying to avoid the bad PR? I don't think so. I think it was just purely EA. How long will tickets likely be available for RTX Sydney? Man, I have no idea. Don't have the slightest idea. Not that into Final Fantasy. Got to get that Lawrence Funhouse fix. Welcome. I do provide that. Uh, Disney had to red phone the EACEO, according to a report. Really? That's interesting. I guess there were enough people like sending in angry letters to Disney. I don't know to what degree the campaigning or like how how intense the campaigning got. Bender, can you say hi to Christian? Well, hello, Christian. Welcome to watching me play a boring video game. If, uh, yeah, if people on Reddit were brigading, um, that hard... Holy shit. What is... Dog is sitting side saddle on a scaled... Like, Japanese horse dragon. Christ! Christ goddamn. The things you see walking around in this game. The campaigning was pretty brutal. That doesn't surprise me. I thought it... It's weird. Like, sometimes that stuff can just be a lot of people, like, yelling at each other on Reddit. And then sometimes people will, like, organize and send massive email campaigns and call and stuff like that. So, I can see if it got to that. Let's see. Here's a report. Bob Iger, wow. That's pretty cool. I can't really read the whole thing now, but I'll, I'll check it out later. 
Yeah, Grim, I saw that. That's interesting. The fact that the, the person who claimed to get death threats doesn't seem to actually work for EA at all. Welcome to this old internet of ours. Stuff like that, man. What I'd like to do, in a follow-up, I want to talk to a psychologist and say, why the fuck would anyone do that? And I get, I get like, wanting attention, you know? But... Ah, Jesus. Another one of these. With the designated locations. Oh, I gotta go... Gotta go busk for this guy. Oh, welcome. Give you a little wave. Oh my god, a wind-up Nanamo? That is the tiniest! Oh, gone. Alright. Finally got the time to watch me live. Wish we, the tames wish we lived, in the lived in the same time zone. Yeah, there's some streamers like that. Where I, I rarely get to watch them live because they're always... Always, uh... It's like either late at night or before you get home from work. Things like that. I gotta... Hold on. What is this? I gotta run this guy's stall? What? What's happening? This is like a fucking... What? This is a damn... This is like a Shenmue minigame. Hey, you look like a man who enjoys some lucky hit. Why don't you try some lucky hit? Fine, fuck you then. Fuck you then. You think I need your business? I got a chicken here. Oh, hello, lady. How about a game of lucky hit? This is weird, man. Hello, uh, medic. It's been a while. Or AH medic. You... You were here before, right? A while ago. Fish. What would you reckon from a bunch of growing boys with healthy appetites? A mammoth thigh. Yeah, tea. Your finest mammoth thigh. Man, they're fucking first personing me with all the all the anime dragon girl. Oh my god, look at that little waddly thing. Man, this is the best job in the world. Hey, little lad. What can I do for you? Give me a toy. Mommy said I could buy a toy because I've been good. You need a cheap toy. Crack one and cheap wooden flute. Fancy multicolored doll. I mean, that has the word cheap in it. I feel like that's a trick, though. Akalemier? Akalemier? Thank you for the, the cheer. And Crypt Lung, thank you for the Prime sub. Why does everyone look like they're the same race as Ganon? That's a good, a good question. I mean, I so I'm in a new nation now, so I'm dealing with a new group of people. I gotta admit that like the sort of races they've added in Stormblood is kind of kind of wild. They had like a, had a race of horse dudes. They all looked like Ninja Turtles. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go with cheap flute. I don't. Hmm. I wonder how you fail this quest, or if it's possible. Do do do. Just hanging out. Hello there, little fella. And see you later, little fella. Oh, I knew him. I knew him. I saw those hungry eyes looking at this stall. I knew he'd be back. I knew he'd be back. I'm pine for that buxom maiden so, but I know not how to express my feelings. Boy! Just tuck a Senran Kagura DVD into his hands. You like buxom ladies. A book? Ooh. A Darkham Tactics? Love songs. Yeah. You know that you know Buxom Ladies give it up when you sing. A good a good singing voice actually causes a woman's breast to vibrate. It's very arousing. It's true. It's all true. It's garbage! Your necklace is shit! We have better jewelry here. What? Alright, I'm, I'm kinda out of my depth here. Does she have ears? Can you put earrings through horns? I don't know, man. Yeah, learn to play Wonderwall on guitar. You only need like the first 10 seconds though. It's by then, you'll already be getting laid. Uh, Medic says, uh, school and life and work keep getting in the way, so I've been able to watch for a while. Oh, Ahmed. Ahmed Ick. Okay. Ahmed Ick. Welcome back then. 
Uh, but yeah, I understand life, man. I Sometimes I don't stream for weeks at a time because I got shit going on. Also, sometimes I'm just lazy. Antisocial. Sometimes I just want to like sit on the couch and let my body slowly wither away. Uh... I can't see the necklace, so... Oh, there we go. Well, she so if she's into this... I guess she would like rubies, because it's like orange. It's a pretty gnarly choker. Huh. Their horns are actually their ears. So yeah, I don't know if you can even wear earrings. Thanks for the reset holiday. Guys, what should I do? What should I do? You tell me. Help me make this dragon lady beautiful. Or whatever she is. I mean, she's already beautiful, but for the sake of this sale, she's she's a pile of trash until I sell her something. God damn it. Oh yeah, Ruby. I guess that's appropriate, right? R-W-B-Y? Sell her Ruby ring. Gotta be on brand. Yeah. Treat her like shit so she falls in love with you. Remember that low-poly chicken? Yeah. <laughs> To show her a picture of uh, Sonico. I said, Bitch, if you want to be hot, look like this. Eat this chicken. Get big. Get big. Alright, I'll go, yeah, I'll go Ruby Ring. Yes! Cha Ching. Oh, she wants everything anyway. Alright. Make her step on a scale. Yeah. Girl, you are skinny! You eat this ham! What is that called? Feeding? Or feeders? People who kind of get off on. On, uh, overfeeding their partner. Not big, Lawrence. Thick. Can... Alright, 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 alright. I got a question for you guys. And I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. If, uh... Do... Do three-dimensional women still count as 2D because they're on a screen? So... Little old Chambui here. Is she still a 2D girl? Whoa. Please, butt face, don't rub your feet all over the, the counter. No, they don't count? It's like custom made, that's not 2D women. Sparked fish from sorry. Not if you have a curved monitor. Good question. 3D equals no. 2D means anime. Everyone is 2D, you like depth perception. I would say 2D also includes video games. So it- well, here's the thing though. Uh... Hello, Frenias. Um, video games, televisions are not 3D. They're not. They're 2D, but they give the illusion of 3D. Um, you gotta build them in real life if you want full 3D. Well, I'm that's what I'm saying though. So like, at what point does the line get crossed into women being beautiful, um, wonderful creatures? Beautiful, angelic, masturbatory creatures. Uh, two being disgusting, like hairy, smelly, selfish, uh, feminist pigs. So it's like, there is pure anime, there's pure 2D, and that's, that is, a uh, clearly the superior kind of art. But then there's polygonal ladies, there's VR ladies, there's, there's like, um, What's the word? Stereoscopic 3D. At what point, you know? You just gotta know. When you want to keep your eyeballs pure. 2D is in reference to animation only. It does not mean 2D is in dimensions. Consider that these 3D characters had concept art, which was 2D. Okay. So then JP versus that wouldn't, uh... That wouldn't apply then to custom made 3D characters. So if you're playing if you're playing, you know, like custom made or any of the number of pretty weird, like make your own fucked all video games. Those don't count? What's up, Kyle Flower? Just realized your name has kind of got baked in baby speak. Which is weird oddly prophetic. Um, Android Ladies where we hit the true peak of virtual lady evolution. I guess. Doesn't that count as 3D though? I mean, they're they're three dimensional by every definition. Yeah. What happens if you if you can have an an android basically look and act like a hot anime girl? I don't know, man. These are the questions we're gonna have to ask ourselves very soon. 
Probably now, actually. Did you miss Inside Gaming? Not really, no. I mean... We, uh... I work with the same people for a better company, so there's not a whole lot to look to miss. What would I miss? Dealing with a company that doesn't know what the fuck it's doing? Duh. Like Android 18, but real? Android 18 is real, but yes, for the sake of arguments, we'll say yes. Can we just make the next RTX panel this discussion? There is something north. Alright. Are you... Oh, homie can't talk. That's interesting. Hello, Eturgen. Man! That dude looks real impressive for wearing pink. Dang. He's got that one evil eye poking out. Yeah, for any as I saw that. I don't... I don't know. It's not... I don't know that they suspended microtransactions indefinitely. They're gonna come back. But, uh... No, oh, I'm saying give me a panel based on how far is too far with anime shit. Ah, I guess. The lines, I think, are pretty easy to draw there. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen the debate of, like... You know, is it pedophilia if it's not real? It, oh, I feel like those, uh, those issues have been thoroughly explored by dudes who really want to jerk off to kids. They suspended them until people stopped carrying the stock price rebounds. So, Joseph, yeah, the stock price thing was already happening. It, it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm sure it was getting worse, don't get me wrong, but... EA already revised the revenues down, and that caused the stocks to dip. I think my girlfriend wore paper lolly masks when I make love to her. Sounds like they get wet, like smudged. I think my definition of 2D women also implies that they are, bear with me here, not real. Okay, but what about... What about a love doll? Alright, uh, Stephanie just came home, so I'm gonna go say hi. I'll ask her. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, I forgot to meet the desktop. Oops. Well, I guess it was kind of similar music. Sorry about that, guys. That was probably really annoying. Am I supposed to be paying attention to what it says when I go check on stalls and stuff? Anyway. I, um... I do think... That what was what was forwarded before is the usage of the term, and that two D means not real. That means constructed, um, and it's so weird when you think about it that way. How utterly dystopian and disgusting what a lot of dudes say actually is. They prefer fake women to real women. Maybe they know what they yeah. Surely they know what they're doing, or they know what they're saying. Horse milk, ugh. I'm listening to old dudes who podcast. You mentioned you were a family band. You still keep up with playing? No, 
Um, haven't done it for a few years now. I've been getting the itch to get back into it, though. <clears throat> I was thinking I could go full Sugar Pine. Like, streaming me, just like, playing, noodling around on a guitar and singing shit. Why you have an eye? What is this? Oh, no. Oh, it's just an info thing. Weird. So does that mean stuff like sex dolls are 2D since they were created? Teresa, yeah, man, it's weird. That, yeah, because no one calls a sex doll a 2D girl, right? <clears throat> so I guess there is kind of a weird crossover. And also, it's like, anime isn't drawn anymore either. It's all generated with computers, so how is that different than, like, Source Filmmaker? And by that regard, you could say that, like, having... Giving Farah a dick and having her fuck Mercy, it's like 2D girls. Whatever. This stuff is weird. Oh, this week's dude soup and learn that we have the same drinking jacket? It's a good jacket. Stephanie got me that, uh... Fuck! I was not paying any attention. Hueh! <sighs> All right, who am I looking for? Biter. All right. I know someone worked hard on this section, but man, did these kill my desire to play. Joseph, this is an optional, uh, an optional quest. And actually, I like this shit. I like quests that aren't 100% mindless. I like quests that kind of require you to think and read and comprehend. Um, meat, fish, and assorted trinkets. Wait, I worked there. I should have known. The animation on the new Berserk is, is awful, yeah. Uh. Oh no. Oh no, you have to, like, remember all this shit? This is gonna be all wrong, who cares? You gotta write this shit down, right? There's no way. Yeah, boy, you got it all wrong. Alright, fuck it. I'll finish that later, when I'm not streaming. Not sanity. thank you for the resub. Yeah, Joseph, this this is 100% optional quest. It doesn't even unlock, um... Like, it doesn't unlock anything. This game's actually pretty good about, uh, separating... Or indicating quests that will unlock, like, a new feature, or lead to a quest line that unlocks something, or gives you gear. Um... It's pretty explicit, like, this is a quest that is just there for experience and doesn't do anything else. And there's enough content in the game that you definitely don't have to um, do all the side stuff, so. Are VR girls, or VR anime girls 2D or 3D? See? I was asking this. I mean, I'd wager they're 2D. I think, honestly, the only criteria is is it an any image or representation of a woman designed purely to appeal to a man's fantasy. I think that's the core of it. Um, but that would that would also mean like that would also mean that like the little stupid gif of a girl stripping that you could have on your desktop in like Windows 98 is also a 2D girl. Which I guess is accurate? That counts, right? Huh. <sighs> Sex doll should be 3D, since any kind of robot or similar would never be called 2D. Yeah. <clears throat> Rock'em Max. I'm, I'm just trying to trying to isolate the uh, the usage of the term or its its meaning. It's interesting because there there are, I don't know language is fascinating to me in this way. There there are words you use all the time, and you're aware of their context but not their definition. Um. It's like when so like uh, indie. You know, what's an indie album? What's an indie game? And this is something, you know, I've seen discussions trying to narrow it down. But it does, it's some, it's a combination of many factors and a lot of different measures. So maybe 2D is the same way. As long as it's got big tits and you can rub one out to it. It can be 2D. Did I miss on the verdict of lollies? What, what do you mean? Like they're 2D or 3D or... I don't know, dog. I will say... I'll be very Japanese on that topic in general and say, if that's... If that's your thing... Just don't tell me. Just don't tell me. Arguably, it's not hurting anyone, so it's it's tough for me to, like... Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. That's one of those things that I feel comfortable not making judgment on. Not to get too heavy off the bat, but like, 
I can have opinions, but I feel like they don't matter about something like abortion. Because I'm not... I'm not a woman. And I feel like I got... I don't... By default, I don't have to deal with most of it. So, it just seems shitty to have a strong opinion on it. I don't know. I guess, I guess the way I would connect that is, and, th and this is me being em as empathic as I can and, and saying this without any moral bearing. I'm not attracted to children, and I'm very glad of that, but I think that is, there is a, uh... That's scary. I, I would think that if I were, I would, like, try and get help. I saw a video in, that in Japan you can actually marry your VR girlfriend with a ceremony and all. Oh, I saw it. It was amazing. I'm just about booty. Murta, they craft, they can craft a fine fake booty as well. Let me tell you, man. Anime is not just about tits. Keijo was about both. Hello, uh... Oh, Laos! Sorry, I keep thinking the first letter in your in your name is an as a as a uh, <laughs> uppercase I. So I'm like I oh well, uh, we still on the subject? Nah, I'm ready to move on. I mean, I think we've settled on a good definition of what 2D means. Although yeah, I guess you're right. Well, okay, and it also has a personality. It is a sexual image, or it's an image of a woman with an attached personality that is crafted for male fantasy. There. I think that I think that's got all the corners cuz you're right. A sex doll would not be considered 2D, but it has no personality. It's it's a it's like a masturbatory aid. So, I think we settled it. Time to talk about traps. That's a that's a world that that recently has been opened to me in the sense that uh, I was not aware that a whole part of the a whole part of the fetish was the tricking of someone or the the like surprise the surprise reveal that seems oddly specific i thought it was just the 3d version of of like funatari or something so the third d is depth of personality you could say that i would I would say it's a fair generalization to say that 2D women largely don't have very deep personalities. You ban hentai, I will fight a civil war for it. Man, could you imagine? Could you imagine the furies of Gamergate that would be unleashed if hentai were banned somehow? Like if there was some version of the world in which hentai were outlawed. Oh my god. They got mad that the tits were getting smaller in video games. If there were no more hentai, woof. The planet would explode. A bunch of dudes with pent-up sexual frustration. Unavoid- like, so burnt out. So burnt out on the- the most, like, laser-crafted hentai that they can't, they can't even, like, can't even come to a, a Playboy anymore. Dies- guys dying and balls exploding. buying guns and just running around shooting guns everywhere they're big swollen balls It'd be a nightmare you you could hey you could say think about it like this hentai is the only thing keeping this world peaceful think about that katawa shoujo characters had personality so that's a visual novel i've not played because i kind of don't like visual novels i almost wish katawa shoujo were just a manga i could read and i probably wouldn't even read it All I'm fucking saying is that if anyone bans the way Bayo looks, I will actually go to war. Do you mean Bayonetta? Hey, ar artistic zombie. What did you just join in on? I was trying to settle on a, a complete and holistic definition of what a 2D girl is. You can turn the porn off in Katawa Shoujo. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, Bayonetta is... is it's just wonderful. Bayonetta, my fucking wife. Bayonetta's great. More people should, uh... It, it really bummed me out that, like... 
Bayonetta wasn't really received or celebrated as like a character or, or style or anything like that. Like, and one dude from Polygon was like, oh, it's just so sexual, it bothers me. It's okay to be sexual, dog. It doesn't... It's like, I, I've, I've gone on similar rants before because it bumps me out, but it's like... She's empowered by her sexuality, and a lot, of, a lot of people try to say that, and they really just mean she likes being a, a male object. It's like, no, she's the one in control, you see? Because she likes it. It's like, well, no, you don't get it. For her, like, sex is a literal weapon. And I, I love that. So, I like Dante more than Bayonetta. I like new Dante equal, mm, no, a little bit less than Bayonetta. Old Dante is kind of stupid. Um... Devil May Cry 3 Dante is kind of adorable in a dorky way, but he's not cool. Do you like the Mechal World Brothers? Eh. Have not uh, really consumed any of their content, so I couldn't say. Hello, Kaguya. Thank you for appreciating the Pac-Man clock. It is, a, it is a wonderful fixture. Oh, what are you writing? An egg? Yes. That was a magical golden egg. I got it for doing the uh, Easter event. Or, wait, it's called Hatching Tide. So yes, it is a floating... It is actually a flying egg, but I don't have flying in this area yet. So there you go. <sighs> yeah, Yomu. I, uh... This game's good. Bayonetta's whole thing is that she uses her entire sex appeal as a weapon. She uses it in a way to say, fuck you, I'm strong. <laughs> and I have gun heels, so your opinion means shit. Yeah. How goes the search? Any luck? The thing that the thing that always to me was the critical difference with Bayonetta and I guess the term is male gaze, how the game has some of it, but not really. Oh, what fortune to meet a friend of the young master. So I thought the the critical thing about Bayonetta, right? So well, she uses her fair. hair or her leather suit to attack well enemies. Which means the more she attacks enemies, or the bigger like a uh, hair wolf or a hair boot she summons to hit them with, the more naked she gets. Sounds really exploitative. It is I Except that the hook of the game is that the camera zooms out when these things happen, so you can see what them. Because if it resumes... You second! It, it basically prioritizes the badass thing she's doing, even though it requires her to get naked to do it. So it'll zoom out, and she's like wearing a G-string. All people of the step should. Well, have you fought so but while this is happening, she's summoned a giant heel to step on the enemy's head. So there's this Superiors. tiny lady wearing a G-string, basically being a Twisted and mad as sand devils, a dominatrix. Kind of. It's marvelous, and it's it's not. Ex there are some camera angles that like swoop between her legs, but it's more like it's more like a hip thrust than those two don't seem to like each other very much. Than lingering on her as a sexual object. Eh. Those boys are of the Oranir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. Okay, so apparently this area is. It's all kinds of uh, the children of Azim are destined warlike to war, war tribes. So they all these little dragon people. Ignis is best boy. I like Ignis a lot. For now. Grand, flamboyant fighters, but deadly, very deadly. Curious for does he wait? Has this episode came out? As do his brothers after their many recent victories. I also like him because he's the cook. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now, they are sorely tested. Next month. Okay, cool. Man, there's a lot of good reasons to go back to 15. I haven't played any of the episodes. I just did the uh, Chocobo Moogle Carnival, which was awesome. But it also seems a very strong sexual presence, too. Not in a way that she's a such object, ah, but she's in charge of her sexuality. Of the yeah. He is Castilla. She, um, she to has a quality where she sort of treats to break the peace is to everyone else like her little playthings, which is kind of cool. He says without words, like every man is just like, oh, you're cute. Get out of here. I, I, I don't know. She's got a good, uh, Zsa, Zsa Gabor air about her. That's interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I'm prepped to cry over my baby boy. Well, to be honest, I'm cosplaying as Aranea, just call Iggy my best boy. RNA is pretty cool. Is there any, um... Is there any extended content that has RNA in it? Mark my words! <laughs> As shall I! Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours! I look forward to the day! 
Man, he's all all energetic. The 14 out of Dragon Race. I mean, I'm in I'm in the area of the world that has these characters, but I don't think you can play as them. Oh, episode prompto? Okay. That was like the Metal Gear one. Settled at the Nardum? A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time. All bonds of hierarchy are broken. Oh, you can play Zara. Oh, are equal and okay. Free to prepare for the fight. So, the tribe which triumphs in I the didn't know that. Rules until right. the next Sahan San. What are, you, what are you on about, girl? Which in these lands is now. Oh. I just came during their pond ah, far. So that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part. I have no idea what's going on in this game. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> We we just got here also. Not all seek the dawn throne. Uh, Some satisfied with their it's lot. been a long time since I played. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The more are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly. Hello, tea good. Welcome. Panic Sonic, thank you for the Never prime mind, sub. You see Kien, yes? We'll find us ever come to Canada. Like anywhere in Canada. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is there a reason to? Uh, like a business reason, abnormal, to be specific. I'm sure it's a wonderful place, but there's not a whole lot of reason for us to just go somewhere. It costs money to fly and it costs money to not be in the office grinding out content. Okay, so the story is uh, people fight all the time here, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm looking for Lord Hien. Whoever that is. I swear that's the trainer of Gosetsu and Yugiri. Stormblood is cool, just wait until endgame. Yeah, it's uh, Silver Dreams. That's. I have avoided reading about it because I want it to be spontaneous. Um, playing playing this game in that way has actually been a pretty big treat. Whenever there's like uh, cool throwbacks or references or just like buck wild ass bosses. That's really fun. I'm kind of waiting for the next, um... The next dungeon to open up. It's been a while. Did you ever really play WoW? Uh, I mean, I did, yeah. I wasn't, like, pro or anything, but... I did raids and things. I guess the, the time I was most active was between, um, Cataclysm and Mists of Pandaria. And then I played, I played Classic. Um, I played Classic and Burning, Burning Crusade. But I kind of stopped at Wrath of the Lich King, came back to it, stopped. I think I'm coming back again. You excited for Classic? No. No, I am not. I played that game a lot, and I think people forget what it was like. It was really good at the time. They've gotten better since then. So I wonder if they're going to update it with, like, quest tracking. Little things like telling you on the map where the quests are. That didn't happen in World of Warcraft. People forget this shit. You had to use ThoughtBot for everything. I really like Legion. It has you. I'm excited to get up into Legion content. It's, uh... I've got a long, long leveling path to go. Although, we started hitting the Dungeon Finder, and boy, did the levels... The levels rain down like gold once you start doing that. There's a huge purist movement that demands nothing changes from Classic. Well, like, in, in WoW Classic, the product? Yeah, I'm curious. Like, will it not support 1080p? How how classic is it going to be? If it really wants to be classic, it should just have, like, horrible lag problems for the first month. Like, kneeling down and never getting back up again. Yeah, classic. This game is so good. Oh, what are you doing over here? Yeah. Yeah, um... With Dr. Legendary. Yeah, you bring up a good point. They didn't have Dungeon Finder back then. Um, you had to you had to crop together your own fucking party. If you weren't in a if you weren't in a um if you weren't in a guild, you just have to kinda hang out in front of the dungeon and hope you find people. Some people remember that fondly. But if you have a job now, maybe it won't be so fun. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I I mean people people don't lie, you know? People want that stuff. A, they have no reason to, to, like, make it up. What are you... What is this? Impossible dream. 
So I don't think... I don't think... I don't think it's the sort of thing where people will, uh... Will get it and then hate it. I think people will like it. I just think maybe uh, some of those people forgot how far back the clock is gonna get rolled. Oh, barbershop? What the fuck? Really, Natoba? Someone went on a rant about how he wants old models, no transmogrification, no barbershop, no nothing? Huh. Weird. <sighs> Who is Buttface that keeps following me around? That's my Chocobo! If I get in fights, he helps me. I, I can only assume that was something they added so to make the leveling curve easier. So if you're a healer, like me, then you can have something um, do damage for you, or help you do damage. Or if you're a DPS, you can have the uh, little chuckle of a buddy heal you. Is this another one? Stranger Danger. Search for any lo lost children. Yeah, that music loop is getting kind of old. Kind of glad it's different. Can I get up there from here? Oh, I can. Okay. It actually does make me pretty happy that you you guys are. Whoa, shit, that's pretty. You guys are trading photos of your uh, Final Fantasy 15 husbandos. It makes me happy that the world likes Final Fantasy again. It's been a while. From ever since like. Final Fantasy VIII hasn't... Oh yeah, there's the egg again. Oh hey, check this out. Cool. Little egg. This game has a really strong art style. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the major pillars. That's one of the reasons I play this game. It's, uh, it's really pretty. It's got amazing music. And um, the art is really solid. So, like, the way enemies look, the way bosses look... Said for Hut would be my boy. It shoots out chocobos. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, crap. Wrong one. Alright. Oh, Dan Banana Gaming 9. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It just feels like 7 is when it kind of blew up with people. And then, I don't know, maybe just hung there for a while. I don't remember people caring much about 11 or 12. A lot of people look forward to 13, but it kind of landed with a thud. Um, oh, I should have... Ah, there you are! He's right up there! Alright, well, okay, gotta go all the way around again, I guess. Sabin and Edgar were the best. Ah, yeah, they were super cool. I always... Those characters are great. I actually don't have a... There aren't a lot of weak characters in Final Fantasy VI cast. I, w I wonder though. I, I've been. I've always entertained going back and replaying it if I ever have the time, because I feel like all of the responses I had to that game are based on dialogue sequences that kind of have an awkward translation and maybe last about four minutes. So and it's just hours of random encounters between them. So I'm just. I wonder if it's as good as I remember. <laughs> Drink a goddamn tea. Yeah, Sid was great. Six was so good. I remember it being so good. But when I really think about it, I think it's been about 15 years since I've beaten it and have never played it again. I've like, I've started it just for kicks. I got like an hour or two into it. I'm very familiar with the Narsh part of it where you're in the Magitek, but really hope Matsuno keeps popping in to make 14 content. Yeah. And like, they got Uematsu back. And a bunch of... Um, a merciful. My lord Hien. I guess, yeah, Yusumi you Matsuno was the one who did, uh, tactics, right? Oh, Sid is a precious little bean. You will come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? Mm. Mm. The people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. Ian is a nice guy. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us, blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Does that mean he's alone? Because women don't like him? Not less than liberty will suffice, then. The pity. It would prove far more difficult to deliver than my head. <laughs> Zing. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, 
Then who am I to deny that? Oh, no, I mean, he's a nice guy. No, 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 I... I was just being dumb. He's a bro. You giddy! Go and uh That's Final Fantasy VI music. That is like The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts That's and cool. to us when we fled to That's the theme East. of Doma. I thought that that place sounded familiar. Far across the sea they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. So he's basically like a, a copy of Cyan. West, where they are lauded as heroes for their Oh my many god, deeds. it's the whole theme. Say no more, you giddy. Say no more. I observed how you helped Cyrano. Yeah, that is Cyan's theme. For that and for the aid you provided my people. Man. You have my deepest. That's cool. <laughs> Wait, 90 seconds for your level 8 attack? Yeah. Pfft. That was an interesting idea. The execution wasn't so hot. I do like that they tried to introduce a new mechanic with every character, though. Good night, Will. Thanks for dropping in. Didn't realize Doma was a Final Fantasy VI no reference. Yeah. Strength, no uh, Doma character. was... Yeah, I'm getting a little misty. A little bit. Um, Doma was the the name of the castle that Cyan lived in. That uh, Kefka poisoned. Spoilers. So... What of Doma? Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home. It's... Why was he just chilling out, though? That's weird. Why was he just hanging out? If he's so down to, like, help... Why was he just I hanging out up here? Decision. Oh, whatever. You get it. Hold on, I gotta click on this. Oh, shit, it's not talking. Ah! That's really cute, Rudy. Damn it, I missed some dialogue. Fuck! That was really important dialogue! Damn! Alright, well, whatever. Lord, but... How much longer do you intend to stay? Hey, Alex. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Oh, only until I have won the contest. Oh, okay. I mean to return at the head of the Zayla army. He's wanted by the Empire. If he went back, he would be executed. Ah, thank you, Rai. You mean to participate in the Nardu? I do appreciate that. Uh, uh, have you a better idea? Information. Consider how soundly we were defeated before. And I do like where they're going with this. We are weaker still. You should set up a chat channel for NPC dialogue. Shit, Joseph, that's a really good idea. To challenge them without first I mean, mostly they're says so, if it's NPCs, yes, but... I intend to win that just shows up in my general tab. I don't the aid of every to finish any of the Tales games. I, I finished... Uh... What was the GameCube one? Symphonia? Championing the mole in the contest, I can at last you also follow the clients. lore? Oh, God bless. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death. And a man who I have such debts to go I have both tasked Rudy with becoming my my general lore master but it is always great to have somebody who knows the ins and outs of Final Fantasy 14 to explain little things if they have Figaro in 14 I'll buy it right now I don't know I know they're they've been working on a lot of Ivalice stuff uh, with Final Fantasy tactics some of the music and and I think some of the bosses I'm not sure but if these are my orders very well. Once more, I place my faith in you. Pray Not Lore Master, Lore Acolyte. Hmm, well said. Okay, Lore Acolyte. I could use another Lore Hound. <laughs> Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? Maybe. Yeah, he is Cyan. So they say. Though in truth, I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. Man. For ours is an impossible dream. To set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. Cool. Man, Jess, I'm I'm oddly envious of people that had such a strong reaction to Final Fantasy XV. For me, I was just confused. So I don't know. Like I said, he and his bro, you weren't wrong. Oh, Wayne, a Cyan's son, but didn't he die? Spoilers. I mean, they're it's, they're not connected. I guess Owain and Hien are not so different. 
You didn't know? It didn't make any fucking sense. What was confusing? All of it? It's like they left a good third of the game out. 15 is a fucking chore to get to? To get to? What did I get? Boots. Can't even see him. I'm wearing my dress is too big. Yeah, JP. Saw their their suspension of microtransactions. That's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, I really liked it. And I believe there is a good story somewhere in there. But I think like too many links got skipped, and I at some point I got too far behind in my understanding of what was going on and I just lost it. Although, so I did read, correct me if I'm wrong here, but in 15, the multiplayer, you play as one of the Kingsglaive, which is actually a pretty cool idea. And a pretty good way to set it up lore-wise, since they have magic Noctis powers too. I'll admit it though, that boss battle pissed me off so much. It wasn't very well made. It was very pretty, but yeah. I was like, I was just doing it, I was just mashing, and, and at one point Noctis just kind of stopped, and it just kind of hung there for 10 seconds, and they were floating. And then Noctis went, bleh, and then it went game over, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I had to do the whole thing over again. So that was also kind of a bummer on the narrative punch of the ending. Um, just one long enemy fight? I mean, I thought it was cool in terms of spectacle and ending, or like being the finale of it. But yeah, I didn't have any idea what the hell was going on. They never really explained what uh, what's his name was all about. Can't remember his, can't remember his name now. The villain. No, it's not you. Don't trick me. It says, speak with Hien. Where'd you go? Oh, he's up there now. Miracle Mac, what is this? What is this? No, not November. This makes no sense to me. Why would anyone deny themselves nuts? Make no goddamn sense. Okay, but question and kind of spoilers, is everyone okay with that? I think the statute of limitations is up on. Spoilers for Final Fantasy XV. I think if you haven't finished it yet, you've kind of demonstrated through inaction that you don't care all that much. No Nut November is a con by dudes just trying to get all the ladies. How does that... How is that a con? Is the idea that if dudes are like, Women, I am not going to masturbate. That women will be like, Oh, well, I'll make you masturbate. Check out this picture of my boob. I... It has to do with the throne room in the final battle. Okay. I don't remember that. So, odds are, uh, odds are I'm not even going to be able to, uh, answer you. Which I know doesn't speak highly of my, of my complaints that I didn't understand, or that I don't, didn't really care for the ending. Oh shit. No, in November was a shit post. I mean, it is a shit post. I don't know if it was intended to be one, but... Does anyone else in Funhouse play Final Fantasy XIV? Fuck no. Think about who I work with. How many of them do you think really fucking play, play an MMO like this? Oh, that's right, that doesn't do... Doesn't do damage anymore. Oh, absolutely was a shit post. Good. Oh, that. Oh, so yours is a shit post. Um, no, it's more like. Where did the original idea come from? I want to know what Brain Trust thought that that would get him laid. Ladies, I know you're used to me thinking about you and jacking off all the time, and I know that you really depend on that to happen. But out of nowhere, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do it. And maybe if you want me to come, you'll just have to suck it out of me. Ha ha. Ha. And then... Because clearly, a woman's ego can't handle not getting jacked off to. They would be banging on the walls, tearing down the doors. Did anyone else see the bodies hanging from the ceiling and just scream? Let me check. Ah. Uh, I, I don't really remember that, but... It's not a pleasant image. I'm just 
Fapta Cam Girls. Or or a drawing of a boob. They were everyone knocked loved and it, it hit hard. Wow, I didn't even know that. I don't know, that's the other thing, like, who did Nox love? What is his... Who did, he had connections with his bros, but that was kind of it, right? And I know that, like, Kingsglaive shows him interacting with his dad a little bit. And it doesn't seem like they were all that close. He definitely wasn't close to What's-Her-Name. Because they were, like, childhood friends and then didn't talk to each other for ten years. He loved Luna? I don't believe that. I don't know- I actually do not believe that. They didn't- If he did, they sold it so terribly. Hit Luna and his dad. Didn't seem like he was that close to his dad. And I don't buy the fucking Luna shit one bit. Like what scene? What what wonderful scene did he demonstrate the depth of his love for Luna? It doesn't matter that you don't believe it, it's true. It's a narrative. <laughs> it's made by people. <laughs> These things don't exist. I'm sorry. They do. Final Fantasy 15 is a documentary. Um uh, you, you're saying that he does because parts of the plot hinge on that happening, otherwise it makes no sense and it's bad. I'm sorry, it might be the case. Um, I'm not saying it's all bad. I really like Final Fantasy XV, but there are some damn problems with it. Well, he did cry when she died. Yeah, the most emotion he's ever expressed. He didn't even- he didn't ex say anything to her. He was never, like, kind to her. He's just kind of a little brat all the time. Which, fine, if that's, like, his character, but... I don't, that's not love. So... He did love her, they just didn't show it well at all? Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it doesn't count if they don't show it. Still alarming to see that kind of shit in a Final Fantasy game? Yes, you are correct about that. That is pretty gnarly. Oh, damn it. Turnin's back there. Whatever, I'll go talk to Hien. I'm pretty sure the logic is that it makes you hornier and more motivated to talk to people or teaches you discipline, which can be applied to other things. Panic? That is a great answer. Interesting. Matoba asks, so in 14 I thought you had level 1 every character... level 1 character in every job, right? Well, I mean, you don't... you don't could that. That is the case. So you, you can be every job on one character. Your job changes by equipping the weapon associated with that job. You have to do, like, a really short quest to unlock the first weapon, but that's it. I cried over having to leave Iggy behind. Though I'll admit that because, oh god, I couldn't, couldn't do that, man. Yeah. No, not November is literally a meme. Just, just a meme. Stop reading into it. No! Welcome to streams. It involves rambling about nothing of, of importance. Like how Boba Fett was supposedly cool, but died a lame death in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Never did a damn thing. Just stood there and, like, nodded imposingly. Is there a cap? Is there any reason to be questing as a healer? Uh, yeah. I mean, leveling. I'm not... I am not level cap. Also, sometimes you gotta, um... Unlock stuff. My quest will unlock... Dungeons or side... Like, side events? There's a lot of stuff in this game that's not just running around in a field and casting spells on things. After Dude Super was talking about EA thing to my Discord pals, and one guy said it was 100% the devs' fault, and that they simply could have made the game so the 65,000 credit system was easier. So the circles are running, sadly. I mean, oh, you mean like they could have circumvented their publisher's intentions? Because that's not really true. You get fired for doing that. Well, thank you, Loose Note. That's a cool name. Use this game to do enough DPS to do almost anything? Yeah. And uh, especially, they like changed White Mage to make it a pretty pure hybrid healer DPS character. It doesn't do as much DPS as like a full DPS, of course, but... It's, it's fun to chip in. It gives me something to do when there's no one to heal. Hello, fair Temulun. I have decided to attend your court with my noble steed, Buttface. Tell me of what happens in your corner of the world. Ta 
Kamarun Hatun. Serena, I am returned. Ah, you found each other. Ours is the soil, Ian. The Domans. And the Eorzeans, too. Well, there's an old one. Oh, that's cute. You know us. The gods know you, child. Oh god, here As we go. The stars, in the heavens, the stars have portrayed pretended your eye. I read it in my tea leaves, Earth. I'm not into the, the fucking to the mystic of the parts of Final Fantasy XIV. We know them through the Utum, like my grandmother. Just watch Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in my film class. It was a cool movie, anyone a fan? Atun, I liked it. I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland. It's a great dialogue in that. To rally the strength of the step. It's, it's like really funny shit. To that end I wish to fight. Kind of ahead of its time in a lot of ways. As a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maul is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardin, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. It would be impossible. Man, I thank you story for your is so concern, important. Serena. But Newman is a badass. Because of well the said. seeming hopelessness of your cause, that we must needs cast our lot with Treats, you. So let me tell you, man, people have been making good movies for a long time. If you're well, impressed we by that. In hands with a more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed Watch Harold and Maude. And no one would follow me to Doma. I think you'd like that movie. One of those, like, this movie has a lot more in it than I thought it would for the time it was made. Your Final Fantasy XIV character never speaks today. Um, you get dialogue choices, but the there's never a voice, no. That we fight. Mayhap this too is their design. Wish the main character could just yell, I'm a literal Ian god slayer. I've killed dozens of them, yeah. Of the they mold. keep popping up, man. I invite you all to join with us in the Nardom. Every time a, a goddamn group of lizards starts putting a bunch of crystals together, a new version of a Titan pops out, and I gotta go kill it. College is doing a cyberpunk production of Jesus Christ Will Superstar. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, God bless. God bless Come college. Come with me, friends. There is much I would show you. Very rare choices and some implied dialect through hand motions. Yeah, jo Joseph is exactly right. You. They never mean anything. Wait. And then, yeah, it's the... Wob, 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 wob. And then they're like, oh, so that's what we're doing A now. singular mm. radiance. Shimmering. Like a jewel of the Dusk Mother. Blinding in its brilliance. Wolf of Saint 2 and AC Origins are half Stars off in the Xbox Store? What? And flock to you. There's a, that's a lot of great games for light, not, not a lot of money. Wow. Secrets of the gods may be laid bare. Oh man, Morgan, I actually haven't seen Kramer vs. Kramer. That's pretty great. I need to watch that. I need to watch Godfather Part 2. I need to rewatch Godfather, actually. And glory. I want to see what stuff. Others to falter and fade, though not What's up? memory. Yeah. Both will be your strength and salvation. Do you have fifteen yet. ships? Oh, never mind. Yeah, like talking about adult entertainments. Cherish the stars I don't and know. the light they bring you in the dark. Cannot watch so Godfather. You Why? Are a traveler? Are you not? There's one. There. Are, there's one scene that's hard to watch, but it's good. It's all very good. Um, divorce and ensuing custody battle. Very relatable in my life and very t and tugs at the heartstrings. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you've been through something like that, I can see why. I can see why it would be difficult to relive that stuff. Some cute high specs art. What are high specs? I mean, I like looking at cute things, so I'll check that shit out. Oh, I haven't seen Singing in the Rain either. 
I get super bored, honestly. My buddy AJ just threatened me with a force to sit down and watch. Interesting. I can see that. There are se yeah, it it's not paced like not paced like movies now. So I get it. Or rather I I can understand that. If if you can calm yourself through like a stiff drink or something, get yourself in the mood to just like chill out and let things roll into you. But if you're in the if you're like kind of antsy and you need to do something, Godfather's not a movie for you. Not in that not in that mood. <laughs> Go watch it right now. Maybe. Ooh, Ignis and Arendaya. Let me click on that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Is Arendaya a 2D girl? Wait, why is there talking happening? A good drink and a good friend do wonders for me, honestly. Okay. The hungry fox starves, staring at the bull's testicles. Therefore, warriors should be well-fed on the eve of battle. Good. I think that is a good saying. I have no idea where the ship came from, but Jesus fucking Christ, I am for it. I see, uh... That makes sense to me. I can see their personalities getting along. Like... She would just, like, be brash and, like, dominating, and he would just, like, not care. Or wouldn't even, wouldn't even land for him. He'd just be like, okay, well, that's very nice, sweetie, get in the car. But then your CPU goes great with your 1080? Yeah, man. This, this computer is a monster now. I love it. Um, mostly it lets me stream in 1080. That's like, the, the, the CPU overhead has enabled me to do that. But, um, this, it's so odd, though. I bumped the bitrate to 8 megabit, but it still keeps streaming at 6. So, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I genuinely don't know what to do about that. Because I feel like I'm, I'm not giving it the bitrate that I could to, uh, make it look as good as it could. But OBS just isn't sending it. I don't know why. I've never had that happen before. She totally has been in some time, and sometimes he's even worse than her with some people's art. It's fucking amazing. Huh. Did you ever get around to playing Nier Automata? I started it. I had my shit pushed in by the, the intro sequence, the tutorial on hard. So the current plan is to drop it to normal, finish the tutorial, get to the first fucking checkpoint, or the first save point, and then uh, move on with my life. Start uh, playing it for real. The intro is impressive. Very impressive. Just in terms of its its presentation of different gameplay styles and you started playing? Sorta. Not not in earnest yet. Um, that near steam is rough. How's a motherfucking android ass? It didn't show up. I, I haven't seen it exposed yet. Um but I've seen gifts and goodness. Sailors lost at sea could find their way home looking at that android ass. That is a uh you could just have 2B, like, climb a... Climb a lighthouse and face her backside to sea. And... Ships would never wreck. Give me the year, what is your pick? Uh, it's tough, man. I, I feel like it's a toss-up between Mario and Zelda. Oh yeah, whoever the, uh, the self-proclaimed -proc ass man was in chat. I'm sure 2B is the woman of your dreams. That's pretty perfect, actually. That is that is exactly the kind of exchange I think I was imagining. Oh, whatever. Picking up damn quests. You're going to bed abnormal? No worries. I'm uh, not going to be going for too much longer, actually. Got a bit of a late start, but it's already getting late. Oh boy. So, this game is super, uh, the story is at least is super anime in the sense that 
as soon as things start moving, they'll take a hard left and just do some real, like, light-hearted, like, mountain springs type shit. So this, this homie's about to compete in some, like, big knockdown tournament so he can win the favor of an entire army to go back to his home country and win its independence. But first, we must feast! So, now I have to do these quests of, like, killing animals and getting meat. So that I can... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so part of the quest is picking the right places to put the, the lures down in. Okay, oops. I said west, right? I'm hoping I can get to it. Music is very inspiring. Sixty-three yalms to the east. Damn it! It's got to be up there. This one's kind of similar to Final Fantasy XI music. Those weird pan flutes. I hate it when the main characters have you come out in the middle of nowhere so they can run off after saying like three lines. That is very common in this game. Like, shockingly common. I mean, I, I like the idea that you guys are traveling together and, like, maybe you're just stopping right here to say this stuff, and it, obviously it's like a... That's a quest trigger. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's amusing how common that tactic is. This is not a pretty game. It's not pretty here, Mello. It's, it's odd how kind of, yeah, I agree, this area doesn't look good. Because I, uh... Normally it's a lot better than this. Like, that looks okay. That looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is just like a plains area, I guess. This area, by world definition, is just really flat and boring. It does kind of look like a, you know, classic World of Warcraft zone. How many of these things do I gotta kill? I don't even remember why I'm killing it. Slay three, and retain a matron shell and a claw. Alright. Why can't I get off my stupid... Oh, okay, whatever. Who's your favorite scion? Um... Alizé is pretty cool. I think Alizé... Between Alizé and Ida, I think. The two I like a lot. The, like, Tifa knockoff. I forget her name because she changed names. Um, she's pretty cool. She took off her helmet. <laughs> did y'all continue playing that pick? Yeah, we did continue playing, um... Uh, wow. Like, level 20-something now? What's oh, the rock textures? Yeah, oh, these? Yeah, yeah, I can see why those might look a little, a little rough. Um... The game is... It's usually, it's usually pretty. Um, but yeah, I'll agree. This zone looks a little flat and boring. And also, it's like... It's just a hard edge, where these two polygons meet. This does seem a little... A little rough. Yeah. Won't disagree with you there. Yeah, usually, uh, usually there's a little more... Usually the edges are sanded down a little more. Hopping off to finish some draws. No worries, Rudy. Thanks for dropping in, man. Always wonderful to have you around. Is this a 3D PD channel? Fuck no. We just had a long... Long, arduous discussion, nailing down exactly why it's not a 3D PD channel. Octopath Traveler is up for pre-order. Interesting. Man, you want to speak about old-school comfy RPGs. You want to milk my sheep? I'm gonna milk... Oh, hello. Somebody in a fucking Magitech. Search for a sheep that sounds ready to be milked. Well, it's no, not November, so they all should be ready. Uh... I don't know how to do this. What? You look... You're sleeping. Oh my god, these things are really fucking cute, though. Also, this quest is called Silence of the Lambs. Can't remember what the fucking key combination is to... Going out. There it is. I'm trying to remember first person. Look at their dumb little faces. They got little bells on. This one's asleep. 
You're asleep too. You're asleep too. Oh man. Excellent. It is nice though. I feel like I feel like part of it is being in this golden age where like really good PlayStation 1 era RPGs can be made again. Yeah, Joseph, the game is very he was very reference happy. Uh, and they're usually they're actually shockingly clever. They can be anyway. There's been references to like fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers albums and Predator. That's the perfect game. Are you ready to be milked? Damn it. Hang on. Also, if you uh, if you have mount music turned on, which I I don't because I got tired of hearing the Chocobo theme, it plays Terra's theme when you have the Magitek on. References. Yeah, Joseph. Exactly. If it if it bleeds, we can kill it. Too good. Too fucking good. I just know that there's some dork who was just like giggling like an idiot. Oh, mining. I don't know where to go or what to do. Ah. Whatever. I'll probably call it there. Preparations for the feast will have to continue next time. I think I'll, uh... What I'll probably end up doing is, um... Playing forward to the dungeons, because those seem like they're the most interesting parts of this game. And then just playing the rest of the stuff off stream. It is a fun game to stream though, because it actually makes it pretty easy to talk to people. <laughs> That's pretty low, uh, pretty low effort. Um, at least while you're questing, it is. I feel like I want to milk these lambs, unless there's more. No, it's pretty much just here. Uh, let me milk these lambs, and then I'll, I'll shut it down. Purchase here. It looks like it's ready to milk and fill up an empty milk can. Uh, Yeah, maybe I need to milk the mammoths. That sheep looks like he's ready to blow. Are you ready to be milked? Bah. Why did they put a period on it? Hey. It turns. I feel like this... The zone isn't very big either, so I feel like I'm not missing any. Hmm. I can't really target any of them. That's a tiny dog. Oh my god, it's got a little scarf. Jesus Christ. I can't remember what that little that little chair means next to a character anyway, or either. A little nabond. Boy. That's what, um, that's what anime characters look like when they've had their souls sucked out. Or they're, like, unconscious. Whenever Naruto gets hit really hard, his pupils go away, head tilts to the side. To denote the end of a sentence. Well said. Chat, you guys are really, you guys are really contributing tonight. I want to call the, I want to celebrate this, call this out a little bit. Now we're just hitting... Hitting all the notes. Damn it. Just trying the same thing over again. Are oh, you gonna mail some gill and booze? That's cool. I wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. God damn it. There aren't any fucking other sheep in this this quest zone. Unless I'm just missing something. As well announced that they're adding classic servers. I don't know if you were a fan back then, are you gonna give it a try? No. I I played enough WoW. I don't feel the need to play it anymore. Or rather, I played enough of WoW Classic. I think that most of the things they've changed have uh have made the game fundamentally more fun to play. So I don't know why I'd wanna go back. 
I mean, I have fond memories of, like, Stranglethorn Vale and how dangerous it was. But those are nice memories. <laughs> I don't know that I need to do that again. Is it over here? No, this is a different quest. Where are these dang sheep? Let's see here. kind of wish so the the one thing that is a bit of a like quality of life bummer is that um butt face won't uh, won't auto attack if you're stunning an enemy and hey holy stuns enemies so if i'm spamming holy he'll just sit there not doing anything i could probably like click on a button to make him attack i just haven't dragged it off unless i have whatever who cares When's the OSRS stream? Well, if I knew what that was, I could tell you. I'm gonna stream more StarCraft 2 soon. If I don't like anime, will I still be able to masturbate to this game? Yes, that's my promise. That's my promise to you, sir. I'll make sure you can masturbate to it. Yeah, damn it, butt face. Hello, Scarebro. Alright, well, I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do for this quest. And there's not, like, a whole lot of information about it, either. Have a sheep for have a look for a sheep that seems to be in need of a good milking. Don't know why I've never been able to get into these games, even though I always wanted to. The repetitiveness made it difficult for me to stay interested or invest in the game and not get bored. Totally fine, him, Kale. Um, I mean, I guess I I could link it back to something earlier tonight and say I don't have a lot of search for the sheep. Sounds ready to milk. To fill up the empty milk can. Um, I don't. I feel like I don't have the the patience or the tolerance for games like Assassin's Creed or just like open world, do a bunch of shit type games. Because I'm playing stuff like this, or because I I'm still playing this. I'd rather play this than Assassin's Creed. Um, I mean, I'll try Assassin's Creed. I'm always open. Oops, oops. To it to it being like different enough to justify the time spent, but. Kind of hasn't been. Maybe will be. I do think that the like the stories are kind of cool. Maybe in that regard, I should just play it on easy. You know, just play it on easy. Mash buttons, get through it, see all the bright shiny things they have to show me, and move on with my life. Oh, thank you, Zero. Good night, Dan. Thanks for dropping in. All right, these appear to be all the sheep, but I can't target any of them. So. Which is sheep? Is it a mammoth? Do I have to do it to a mammoth? Maybe that is it. It's not a mammoth! Alright, well, I'm confused. Whatever. I feel like the repetition of this at least feeds into forward progression as opposed to sideways progression of repetition in a Ubisoft game. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. I guess for me, it's it's there is a good and even pace of con of new content, as opposed to this an open world where new content is finding a new cave that kind of looks like the last cave you were in. Um, this is like you go to entirely new areas, you get to do entirely new dungeons, and that stuff is kind of metered out slowly. I suppose it could be a bit faster, but um, the story is the story is unique. And is worth playing. For me, anyway. I'm not going to say it's high art, but... It was a boy mammoth, you got excited? Listen. If I, uh... If I fill up the pail, my job is complete. What's your opinion on a 1X? I really like it. Oh, but I also have a, uh... I have a 4K TV. I am that spoiled. So I think if you don't have a 4K TV, I think it's it's a little harder to justify buying it. Unless you just really like having the best thing, and it's a very good thing. I think it's a, uh, a wonderful piece of hardware. It's the... I'd say it's probably the, the most technologically impressive hardware that's ever been made. Until now. There's going to be a better one eventually, but 
I think it's like, from an engineering standpoint, it's more impressive than PS4 Pro. Unless you count like a Shield TV plus a PC. But even that's not quite so tight in terms of engineering and efficiency. Well, honestly, a lot of games are feeling very similar. Most of the time now, I find myself playing Overwatch when I want to gameplay and Telltale when I want story. I think it might just be outgrowing the medium that I'm prioritizing story over gameplay. Some of the games aren't just for me. I don't know, man. No, MKL, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make those, those broad statements like that. It's okay to not care for... I, I, I do agree that games are getting kind of homogenized, uh, but that's always been the case. You know, every game was Doom, then every game was Command & Conquer, then every game was Call of Duty, then every game was uh, MOBA, now every game's Battle Royale, and then the, like, or Assassin's Creed, you know. So there are... Find the Sheep says ba ba ba. I thought I did. Because um, I do remember that one. Uh, I think there are... Maybe it just wasn't close enough. Bah. I think it's this one, right? I think I think it's possible and actually makes a lot of sense to not necessarily like what's popular. Especially if you've played a lot of games. There, that one. So I can't target it. Did I just have to stand really close to it? Yeah! Man. Wait, what did that say? Milk of the highest quality gushes forth from the sheep, filling your can to the brim. It gushed. Ooh. How many hours have you played this, sunk into this game? Many. Very, very many. I mean, it's it's like a pastime, you know? Everyone's... I, I feel like everyone's got a thing that they just do that they don't really think about much. Um, like a game they play a lot, Overwatch or something. Um, this is a game I can play and just click my brain off for a bit. Um, depending. It, it does offer both experiences. Leveling is pretty pretty chill. But man, you gotta be you gotta be on fucking point when you uh when you get in those dungeons, when you get in raids and primal fights and stuff. And I like that too. I like that it's both. It's got a sprawling amount of content that allows you to just kinda do whatever. Like you can fish, you can play triple triad, you can like gamble in the gold saucer you can do chocobo racing there's just a lot of things to sort of pleasantly do in the background if you're like watching tv or or doing ch chores or something Ooh, angelic rocker that is a two-month prime sub my guy and that means you get you get yourself a song says, uh, just want to say the Fun of Shopping Network was the highlight of Extra Life. Amazing work. So enjoy some of Amazon's money. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Do that. And then I'll do this. And then I'll pull up a song. Is this on a monthly subscription like a lot of MMOs? Yes, it is. Did you ever get into WoW or Neverwinter Nights, D&D related? Yeah, I played a lot of WoW. I played Neverwinter Nights, the first one, quite a bit. Man. Neverwinter Nights was kind of scary. Because I remember getting it, and I was like... Hanging out with a friend. So we were playing it. We were like, land up. Because we were cool kids. And uh, I remember playing that game until my eyes kind of stopped working. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like a when an ocular migraine, but it uh it was very much like you know that like spot you get when you look in a bright light for a while and then look away. My uh my vision sort of filled with that, and I was like, oh, I gotta take a break. So I just went outside and walked around for a little bit, and it went away. But that was uh, that was the first time that ever happened, and that was a little scary. Let's see. Yeah, I'll play something from this. I remember liking this this album. I listened to this today. I don't think it's that one. There was another one. Okay, got it. Trek's queued up. Trek's queued up and ready to bang. 
Okay, Angelic Rocker. Thanks for coming back and dropping that Amazon money on me. Here's a track for you. Please enjoy it. So, uh, so bright, so cheerful, so bubbly, misty. Ah, I love it. Uh, for you guys curious, I need to make a habit of calling this out because I'm I get to like a lot of people leaving comments or asking you on social media. So, that was by a group called Phaserland, uh, all one word, uh, P H A S E R, Phaserland. Uh, track is Electric Atlantic. It's pretty good. Uh, the whole album's pretty good. Uh, that's also the name of the album, so. I guess they knew it was good too. Oh, let me turn in this stuff. Gotta cash in. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Give me my experience. Alright, yeah, let me turn this stuff in and then I'll. I'll shut it down. Quiz time, who is this? I don't know, some blonde lady. You're, you're very excited for someone to try and try and guess this. You have this, all these songs on a Spotify list. Someone does. Um, I don't. As a note, who is in the list here? The best best time to start was yesterday. Every patch adds more content that must be completed to get to the end game. Yeah, like what are they on? Four point one now. It's Siren. Okay, I don't know who that is. It's a very nice emote, though. Man, I wanted to hear her playing. Oh well. Ah. Uh. I guess the sun's rising. I can't sit on that. Eh. I've been playing for six to eight months and I'm still only two thirds of the way just where I'm at. Ugh. It is it is an intense game. It is the biggest anime of all. That is for sure. And I respect it for that. There we go. Just have a nice little stare at the fire. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um kind of quick tonight, but I had to work late, then I had to cook. Fried up some noodles, good shit. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.
comes for the cordless power roller from Wagner. Now you control the flow of paint, so the Wagner power roller can cut jobs in half. Smoothly and evenly, it can cover areas twice as fast, and clean up is a snap, so you can finish one job and do another. Get your hands on a real value, because the value of Wagner keeps on rolling. You're at your mother's cousin and feeling twice removed. Since Twix gives you chewy caramel, twice, milk chocolate, twice, and that cookie crunch, twice, you get one great snack after another. History teaches primordial perspiration shouldn't mess with one's style. Consider this powerful discovery. New Red Guard Pure Power Clear Gel. An astoundingly clear gel. Thus, it goes on clear without any flaky white stuff protecting one powerfully. For when it comes to protection, one shouldn't mess around. New Red Guard Clear Gel. Anything less would be uncivilized. We're Penn and Teller as MCI presents Comedy Central's 37% new tour starring us, Penn and Teller. 37% new because in these cities, 63% of the show is classic Penn and Teller, like Teller being tortured. But 37% is brand spanking new, like Teller throwing a bunny into a chipper shredder. And in these cities, the show is 100% new. That's Comedy Central's 37% new tour, sponsored by MCI and starring us, Penn and Teller. If your city wasn't listed, it means you live in some one-horse town that we would not be caught dead in. We all know Chris, Mike, and Dana are great. But what about Eddie, Nick, and Lenny? What are they? Chopped liver? Watch Saturday Night Live for some of the funniest people and some of the best bands ever. Weeknight to 10 p.m. only at Comedy Central. On tonight's Cyber Blast, we're going to send you two 